Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In our previous video, we trained custom YOLO v4 object detection model using Darknet. In today's video, I am going to explain how we can convert this model to TensorFlow and TensorFlow Lite. I am also planning to make a video on how we can develop an Android app using YOLO v4 TensorFlow Lite model that we are going to produce at the end of this video. So subscribe to the channel and hit that bell icon so you don't miss the updates. Let's get started with today's video. First thing that you have to do is clone this repository. You can download zip file and then extract that. And if you have followed one of our previous video where we converted pre-trained YOLO v4 to TensorFlow, you should already have this repository. Okay, either way, you should have this folder and inside this folder, we have all the files that were in the repository. You also need the pre-trained custom YOLO v4 model that we trained using Darknet. And that model is found inside backup folder of Darknet. And there we have it. I'm just gonna copy it and I'm gonna paste it inside data folder of TensorFlow YOLO v4 repository. I am going to rename it to YOLO v4 underscore custom. So this one is original YOLO v4 model and this one is custom model. We also need to copy another file and that is inside data folder and we called it obj.names. This file basically contains the names of the classes on which the model was trained and we only had one class, John Wick. So that is present on first line. And let's copy this file, go to our TensorFlow repository and inside data folder, there is classes folder and paste it here. And then come back and go inside core folder and open config.py. Here you can see that for class names, we have coco.names as default file name. So we are going to change it to obj.names. So that's the file that contains our class names and hit save. Okay, next I am going to open anaconda prompt and execute this command to convert darknet version to tensorflow version. Python save underscore model dot py minus minus weights and here we are going to provide path to our custom weights file that is located inside data folder yolo v4 underscore custom dot weights next path to checkpoints folder that should be created for tensorflow dot slash checkpoints and yolo v4 underscore custom and then input size of the images on which the model was trained so minus minus input underscore size in our case that was 416 and then model version underscore underscore model in our case that was yolo v4 so we're gonna hit enter once that is finished you will see this message that assets are written to checkpoints folder to run object detection on images using tensorflow version of custom yolo v4 model you are going to issue this command python detect.py minus minus weights dot slash checkpoints yolo v4 dash 416 minus minus size 416 minus minus model yolo v4 and finally minus minus image inside data i have wick dot jpg hit enter there we have the results and it is able to detect John Wick, but it is unable to detect Neo because we did not train it on the Neo images, we just trained it on John Wick images. And to run detections on video, we are going to issue this command python detect video.py minus minus weights checkpoints yolo v4 dash 416 minus minus size 416 minus minus model yolo v4 and then input video minus minus video i have this inside data folder and it's called wick.mp4 and we can also produce output video so minus minus output inside detections and it's called custom underscore output dot avi hit enter 
and we can see that John Wick is being detected with 100% accuracy. And we can see that we have achieved FPS of 12, which is a lot slower than Darknet version of custom YOLO v4. As far as I can recall, I think we achieved uh, around 23 frames per second with Darknet version of the same model. Now to convert the model to TensorFlow Lite, we first have to issue this command, python save model.py minus minus weights dot slash data yolo v4 underscore custom dot weights and output inside checkpoints yolo v4 dash 416 and minus minus input underscore size also 416 and minus minus model is yolo v4 framework is tf light hit enter at the end you will see this message that assets are written to checkpoints folder and now to produce tf light model we are going to issue this command python convert tf light dot pi minus minus weights inside checkpoints folder and yolo v4 dash 416 and the output file should be saved inside checkpoints folder and custom yolo v4 dot tf light hit enter there we have it and if we go to checkpoints folder we'll see that we have custom yolo v4 dot tf light model and we also have tf light models from our previous video so this one is on custom model and this one is on original model and one last thing that we can also quantize our model so the quantized model would have smaller size so that is useful for our mobile devices so let's see how we can produce a quantized tf light model so it's exactly same command but we are just going to change the name of the output file so it's going to be float point 16 dot tf light and at the end we have to provide quantization mode so minus minus quantize underscore mode is float 16 and this is done and if we head back to checkpoints folder we can see that we also have custom yolo v4 quantized model as well and the original model was uh, almost 250 mb and this one is 125 mb so with that i think i'm done and in next video we are going to use these tensorflow light models in our android app so see you in next one